the marketplace is empty No more traffic in the streets All the builders' tools are silent No more time to harvest wheat Busy housewives seize their labors In the courtroom, no debate Work on earth is all suspended As their king comes through the gates The king is coming The king is coming I just heard the trumpet sounding And now his face I see The king is coming The king is coming Praise God He is coming for me
Praise God sa mensahe ng awit. Ikaw ang kusog. Ang Diyos lamang, si Kristo lamang. O ang gahum, o ang gasya na giparagayday sa Espiritu Santo. Mo'y atong kusog sa pagbarug sa kamatuuran. Happy Sabat kaninyong tanan din sa Pilipinas o sa tanan ng mga nasod nga pareho o timeline karon maupay pag sinag sa adlaw sa uban nga party in the western hemisphere so good morning kanindiriha diri happy sabat na mga kahigalaan mga kaigsuonan si Josue Abakan si Ayesa si Atheo sa mga Lacheca family happy sabat ninyo tanan kay Rico Kabigting Kay May Sesson Imperio. Kay Brother Jacob Valendez sa uh, Magtagal Bagong Taas, Valencia, Bukidno. Kay Cheryl Apao sa Davao. Kay Ma'am Raymi Villarreal sa New York, New York. Kay Evet uh, Barty. Kay Ami, Sister Ami and Daya. Kay Ma Teresa Perongo. Pastor Ephraim Villarreal, by next week, maminaw na sa kita sa mensahe sa Gino. Kay Mayeth Basconelio, ma'am, happy Sabbath. Kumusta ang atong mga engagement sa mensahe sa Gino? Kay, Hem kay Hemrets Del Port sa Canada, kumusta ang inyong pakishare uh, sa mensahe? diha sa Canada sa atong mga kaigsuunan. Ang Arlen, Ma'am Arlen Sobaria, ang atong teacher kay Ate Evelyn Antaya, diha sa New York, New York, USA. Kay Lando de la Roca, sir. Kay Babette Brigara, kay Leah Lee, kay Melogen Yor, kay Ate LJ Hustaya sa New York, New York. Ronalyn Salvani, Bilasco sa Davao, o kang Elias Valadhay sa Makati. Sa atong professor, theology, pastor, Pericles Mabida, sa Central Philippine Adventist College. Kay Brother Johnny Oba. Kamusta, Brother Johnny? How is your family? Happy Sabbath. It's a good time to be in God. Resting. What do we mean by resting? No. Into the holiness. Because Sabbath is the day of the Lord where all our sorrows and labors will be rested in Christ. Amen. So another subject around happen. We talk about Sunday law. Now um Sunday law is so on. Atong hinuktukan nga dili na siya isyu sa atong panahon lamang. Isyu na na sukad pa sa sinugdanan. Yan ang isyu simula pa noon. Siyempre ah, si Satanas ay worship. Talagang mag-imitate siya. I-imitate talaga niya na mayroong worship din. Pero may gusto siyang araw na gusto na doon tayo. So, let us not be so fanatic with Sunday law. Ang Sunday law na mga write-up, mga sulat ni Sister White ay isang engagement ng langit na nangyayari sa, at the very onset of the establishment of the last church. No? The last church. And, yeah, and then, we need to understand nga Ang Sunday movement is basic na movement sa kaaway. So, there's nothing complicated. Ang nag-complicate lang ani, eh, kinilasan atong mga expectations o ang atong mga apprehensions. Exactly. And then, besides, naatay panguna-huna nga ang mensahe sa Sunday law, Mo'y mo pabarog ka na ito nga kita mo'y tinuod. Mo'y na siya ba nga? Very 
alarming kay na siya nga konsepto theological concept na siya nga nagiplaster ang tanang interpretation nga muhaum nga mutudlo mo pabarug nga kami mo itinuod ang pikas dili kay Sunday nga any attempt nga makapabungkag mo na siya nga Sunday na siya Sunday lo so ato ning tanawon sa tinud alay nga tanaw and then trying to understand now the context and the reality of what has been written at the backdrop of the great controversy na ang mga backdrop no na backdrop ginasya and so on so ang movement sa story of redemption ang gracia na ginasya ay right time nga atong gisgutan okay so karon actually ang kadaghanan nato nagahando nagalantaw nga ang writings ni Ellen Juay maoy makapa maoy makapatin aw sa pulong sa Dios maoy makahatag og katinawan ang problema ana nga statement nga konsepto moingon ang uban og wala ilin diway pa paano yan pag wala ilin diway hindi pala namin maintindihan ang bible <laughs> yun ang problema no paano kung wala ilin diway writings hindi kami makaintindi sa salita ng diyos ibig bang sabihin mas mas magan mas malinaw ang salita ni Ellen G. White kaysa salita ni Kristo? Does it mean man is above than the Redeemer? Oh, mabigat din yung tanong, kapatid. No? Uh, determining the role. Kita, pag hindi tayo nag-iingat, mga kapatid, ay malagay sa hindi tama na perspektibo. No? ang writings. Daw testimony naman talaga yan, witnessing naman talaga yan, yung mga writings ni Lady White. Just like our life, our lives today, we are witnesses. Pag witnesses, our life is a testimony of Jesus. Mga testimony yan eh. And have the testimony of Jesus. He that lives in Christ, witnessed. Yan. So, kanang revelation nga nagaingo nagsasabi na and have the command that keep the commandments of and have the testimony of Jesus. In other words, you witness you you ano you you executed no, the instructions. So importante, so shall we bow our heads for prayer? Our great, almighty, loving Father in heaven, in the throne of your grace, we would like to thank you for this privilege of this wonderful hour of the Sabbath. For giving us the holiness and accounting each and every one of us as your holy people, a peculiar people, a holy nation. The holiness is imparted unto us and we thank you for this experience thank you lord jesus christ for interceding in our behalf in our worship in the hour of the sabbath and in the learning of your spoken words that you physically delivered to daniel to the four disciples and repeated to that one beloved John at the island of Patmos. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for gathering all of us tonight as we continue to understand your message unto us so we can also be a message to the rest of the friends and people around 
All these things we ask in the loving name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. The word in the words of Ellen G. White. So it's always the supremacy of the words of God. It is always the truth of Christ. The truth, the truth as it is in Christ. Yan talaga ang masarap yung salita ni Kristo. Sa life ni Ellen G. White, as he testified through the her writings and her life. So it give us more. It give us more of what Christ have said. Just like our engagement with some friends, with some ministers. We thank God for having them. Helping us, sharing us. The words of re restoration and the word of redemption. So it's always the Bible, my beloved friends. The good news that in our generation, it is the word of Jesus Christ that would explain everything and that would enlighten the rest of humanity and that would give credence to the words of Ellen G. White. In other words, ibig sabihin na ang Biblia lang at ang salita ng Diyos ang magbibigay sa atin ng sapat malinaw Matamis na, na katutuhanan upang tayo'y magkapanagumpay sa pagsalubong sa ating tagapagligtas. So we need to reset our concept, our mind that the word of Jesus Christ, especially His closing Prescription is a wonderful, beautiful narrative that we can see the truth by our very two eyes. The dynamics and the realities, my friend. The word in the words of Alien G. White. Kaya nga itong last the events, isa lang ito sa maraming libro na nakumpile ng Ellen G. White Estate. Pero marami yung Conflict of the Ages na sinulat niya. Kaya mayroon ng libro dito na magandang pagka-publish ito, yung Ang Pangyayari sa Huling Panahon. Ganda ito kapatid. Last the Events. Illustrate. Napakagandang material. No? I encourage you to possess that one. Yung sinasabi na, have treasures in heaven. What do you mean by treasures in heaven? Your positions that would guarantee your positions right now that talks about heaven. And this is one of the books that you should possess. And you should share, my friend. So the word in the words of Ellen G. White, one quotation in the spirit, the spirit of prophecy, volume 4, 390, 1884. A day of great intellectual darkness has been shown to be favorable to the success of popery. It will yet be demonstrated that a day of great intellectual light is equally favorable for its success. There, here in his quotation, a complete picture of this object and in this subject. The other side and the other side. The other side of the coven. Gusto niya, ito lang ang makikita natin. Pero 
Glory to God na binigyan niya tayo. At both sides, we will be seeing the movement, the activities. So we cannot be deceived. Yan ang importante nating mapanghawakan na hindi tayo madali na isa lang ang paningin natin. You have to see the two sides of the, of the coin. You have to see the whole story of redemption. Kasi sa buong story of redemption, nandoon isin, isinulat yung movement. From darkness, he, he used darkness and he used also the light. Ayan, kaya na angel of light siya, transform as an angel of light. So pag angel of light, dito na yung intellectual light natin. Siyempre ah, kaya nga yung great intellectual light na it strikes the mind and our conscience. Conscience, intellectual conscience. Mababasa natin mamaya ang quotation tungkol sa conscience. Para natin intindihin yan. Na yung i-force ang ating conscience. Ano bang ibig sabihin sa sulat ni Lindy White? Nung makikita natin ito kapatid. No? So in the movement now in progress, so 1911 yan, movement ha, in the United States to secure for the institutions, plurals, yeah, and usages of the church, the support of the state. So paano natin titingnan itong movement? Kasi it goes into the life of the state. It might be in political aspects. It might be on cultural education. Cultural ba? The, whole, the way of life? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung ano ba ipinahiwatig na movement ng Panginoon? Ano ba yung in-institute? na mga programa at mga activities, mga proyekto na magagamit ng Estado ang Iglesia at magagamit ng Iglesia ang Estado. Ganda yung kapatid eh. Kasi isa lang ang ang, ang, ang ano dyan, ang, ang citizens. Isa lang ang tao ba? The church member and the state member is just the same. So Protestants are following in the steps of Baptist. Nay, no, more they are opening the door for the papacy to regain in Protestant America the supremacy which he has lost in the old world. So 1798, so as come to 1911, so yung movement, kasi itong Bible isinulat na, Yung progress ng kanyang development power na kasi siyempre ma-restore siya eh. Yun naman talaga ang naisulat ng Biblia. Nang, gusto lang ni Satanas na hindi natin makita yung development ng kanyang supremacy. Tapos kung may supremacy man tayo nakikita ay i-insert niya sa bawat sa atin yung mga narrative na hindi ayon sa sinasabi ng Panginoon. Yung supremacy ng evil, kaya illuminati agad ang, mga, ang papasok dyan. So dapat naintindihan, kasi ito movement ito, hindi ito, ano, 1911 pa, tapos kung, kung talaga yung movement na yan, kasi yun ang kanilang pananampalataya, ah, na magkaroon ng malawakan Yan. Siyempre, ang object is soul, kaluluwa. So, ang konsepto na dapat magkaisa tayo, magsama-sama tayo, yan naman ang instinct ng tao simula pa noon, di ba? Nang nakarara sila ng, ng, ng uh, baha. So, nag-instinct agad sila na magawa sila ng tower o babel. Yan ang instinct talaga ng tao. Human ba? Kaya nga yung statement na yan na institutions and usages of the church. Mayroon tayo na pag-aralan sa nakalipas na na mga linggo. No? Pag, uh, yung Christ closing prescription. Yung detalye 
Napakaganda, napakalinaw yung binabaan ni Kristo para ibigay kay Daniel kung ano ang mangyari sa ating generation. Ano yung movement na napaka pino na hantong ito na vice versa ang beneficiary. Na ngayon, pwede nating masasabi na nagkaisa na talaga. Bakit? Kasi ang programa ng iglesia, yun na rin ang programa ng estado. When the program of the church becomes the program of the state. Kasi they are the same, the citizen, di ba? Kaya nga yun ang claim nila eh. We are the shepherd of the flock. Now our flock are the citizens and the voters of the nations. So we take care. Di ba? Oh, wag mag, wag magsalisali ang mga simbahan sa eleksyon. Sabi naman ang simbahan. We are the shepherd of the flock. We need to teach our, our, our flock how to vote. <laughs> so basic ba? The consensus is being tough. So dito mga kapatid, gusto ko lang yan na matamaan ako ng air ko kasi umii, na, umiinit. No? Dito. When the program of the state becomes the program of the church. Ganda. When the project of the church becomes the project of the state. When the project of the state becomes the project of the church. Ano yung project natin? Developmental. Moral transformation. Kaya mayroon tayo sa Pilipinas na values orientation workshop. Yeah. So, values. Who will carry the values? It will be the church people to discuss. Kaya mayroon values formation seminar. Tapos yung pala ay mga religious ang presentation para bautismohan. Uh, so, hipinahintulot yan. Pero eventually, hindi na yan ipahintulot kasi religious pluralism na. So, matagal na natin yan diniscuss 20 years ago na yan ang movement talaga ng ating mga community and our municipality, kapatid. When the passion of the church becomes the passion of the state. Passion ba? Yung desire for betterment. Yung desire for love and you know, Prosperity. <laughs> Desire by passion. Letter P. Puntahan din natin yung F. When the fashion of the church becomes the fashion of the state. So, talagang yun ang reality. The science of our time. Yun ang ibig sabihin ni Sinisistan Sir White na in the movements now in progress in the, to secure for the institution and usage of the church for the support of the state. So, maraming mga quotation yan, pero ang Biblia, Daniel 8, talaga yan kapatid, Daniel 8, Matthew 24, Mount, the island. Saan mababasa yon? And through his policy, policy, the policy, the, the policy, the principles of the papacy shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall Magnify himself. Simple ah. Successful eh. Successful ang kanyang programa. Bakit successful yan? Kasi it provides solutions. Provide ng immediate solutions. Yang solusyon ng, ng ating ano ay coming pa. Sa kanila, nandito na. Huwag na kayong maproblema. Kaya kapatid, it's just smooth and academic na magkaroon talaga ng ganyang movement. No? Yung gathering nila din. Mayroon din silang ganyan. So normal naman yun. Basic naman sa tao yun. Because human, civilization had grown up. Ang sa ating civilization, civil. Civilized. We are ruled by laws. Kaya nga meron tayong canon laws. Sa mga lawyers, sa mag-aral ng jurisprudence, canon, mga subject ng canon law. Yan, galing yan sa Roman Empire. So, basic siya na mayroon talagang batas. Kung naman bigyan pa ng ano, na basic yan eh. Dynamics. 
So national sandal means national apostasy. Ito ang portrayal na ngayon. Kasi outright na ito when you legislate. Kasi simple, ang Panginoon ay may rule, mayroong principles, mayroong siyang laws that govern His creation. Pag ang, ang, bala, ang batas na gagawin ng created is in direct contrast to what the Creator have said, it is exactly what is meant by apostasy. You apostasize. So dito, sinabi ni Sister uh, sa last the event, in the, no, the, the contagion, to secure popularity and patronage. Simple ah. Kaya nga sa atin dito, the politicians would have to get the support from the religious organizations. Kaya nga sa Amerika dyan, si Trump, simply surrounded by religious zealots, si religious, mga religiousong tao yan eh. Kaya nga, maraming mga religious organizations dyan Talagang active sa parliament na Para ipaano na yung kay Trump To secure popularity and patronage Legislator will yield to the demand for a Sunday law That's basic By the decree enforcing the institutional papacy In violation of the law of God Basic yan kasi kahit saan Kung mayroong mag-impose ng ganyan, simple sa at dito nga, pag nagtarbaho ka sa isang company, may mga may-ari ng company na mga Mama Mary devotee or Catholic devotee, ay talagang i-impose nila yan na you have to pray, you have to go in that light. Same as principle yung to impose what they believe. Ganun lang siya kasimple kapatid. By the decree enforcing the institution in violation of it, our nation will disconnect itself Fully from righteousness. Siyempre ah, buo official na nations. So alam naman natin, nahugot natin yung tinatawag natin noon sa panahon nila ng mga Israelites, di ba? Mga nations, natawag niya. Yung kingdom, kingdom, the kingdom of Judah, kingdom of, of Israel. Pag buo na yan, grabe na, the whole. Si dito mga kapatid, no? Kay Johnny John Nalyahan. Nanonood sa atin si Pastor Sarabusing, no? Hopefully, nakapagpatuloy siya ngayon na manonood kay Gerald Granada, Janes Edrada. Di ba? Sa atin talaga ay the most popular words in the Adventist is Sandilo. <laughs> Sandilo. Hinintay-hintay ng Sandilo. Kasi ito na. Tama. Darating ng Panginoon kasi darating na ang Sandilo. Saan na kaya sa Bible ang sandilo? Meron ba tayong mabasa sa Bible na sandilo? Dito, uh, dinescribe lang ni Sister White yung movement. Siyempre, movement niya ng contrast eh. Truth against the false one. Diba? It is at the time of the national apostasy. It is at the time of national... So when the national law is a national apostasy, when it is international international apostasy, so ganon yung kapatid ha. So ang movement ng Sunday ay hindi yan isang kaganap ang movement siya. Ibig sabihin, may sinimulan siya sa ating time of the end. Yan <laughs> kapatid, time of the end. Sa time of the end, nagsimula na ang movement ng Sunday, kapatid. O, ng Sunday, kaya tinawag ni Sister White yan, mga blue Sunday law. Kasi mga attempt, di ba, 1880, sinabi niya, nangyari sa isang, isang estado sa Amerika. Kaya inulit ko, sinabi ko kagabi na, ito ay mga basic lang na mga implementation of the heart ng mga convicted na mga governor, legislators, to express and execute their belief. Pagkaya sa atin, meron tayong eskwilahan, i-execute natin nating bilis na Sabado, wala tayo dyan. <laughs> May policy tayo, batas. Ganun lang kasimple yan, kapatid. So, sinabi dito, Roman Catholic uh, Last Events Review and Herald, June 15, 1897. Roman Catholic principles will be taken under the care and protection of the state. Bigat ito. So kung ating intindihin ito, 
Paano ito mangyari? How would the state take care and protect the principles? Ang tanong, ano yung mga principles? Kasi plural ito. Ito ba ang mga principles na makapadipile, makafornicate? Kung fornicate ito, mayroon, ma, ano yung punto na ma, with consent? No? Mayroon, mayroon tayong careless action na by our decisions naging bahagi tayo. Ma, ma, mabura natin yung tinatawag sa sa First Peter na we are a chosen generation, a holy, a peculiar people. Kaya nga, yung word of God in the light of the word of Ellen G. White. Kasi mas mabagbiga, mas napakalinaw yung word ni Kristo na binabaan niya galing sa langit, pumunta kang Daniel, ibinigay niya na itong little horn na ito, yung by the second time around, sa pangalawang pagkakataon na paghari niya, ito ang kanya, that the whole world, yun. Kaya nga, diniskas yan, sa Bib diniskas ng Biblia, yung all nations, yung globalization. The state of the world, the nations of the world. Kaya nga, Roman Catholic principle, ano yung principles nila? Nga the state. Hindi ito simply kapatid, uy, remember state, it's the nations. Well, leaders, the minds of the great intellects is involved. The science of politics is involved. The science of natural environment is involved. The science of anthropos, anthropology is involved. The science of physiology, anatomy is involved. Complete na science ito. Eh, panoorin nyo talaga yung sa nasa YouTube na yan. This national apostasy will speedily be followed by national ruin. Speedily, mabilis. Pag sinabing national ruin, what do you think na maramdaman ng tao, ng gobyerno at ng mga leaders? National ruin is something distracting to life. National ruin can, may, can mean pain psychologically, physically. National ruin. Paano natin titignan yung biblical narrative? Dynamics ng tinatawag nating ruin. Kaya mayroon sa ating panahon ngayon yung tinatawag national emergency. Amen. State of state of emergency national di ba so yan makikita yan kapatid yan yan mababasa sa Daniel 8 sa River Uli sa akin yan River Uli sa Amerika yung River Uli kapatid doon doon sa mababasa yan and through his and through his principles that little horn he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself. And he shall destroy wonderfully. He shall magnify himself and by peace and by prosperity. So if you're a stakeholder, stakeholders of the state, you have to care for it because it talks about prosperity and peace. My beloved friends, yung iba naman na medyo nabagala ng ano, please have patience because this is a very serious. You have not even, if you can answer some of the questions, you know, that's good. If you have no questions, you have to wait for really the answer. Patience is a required, it's a necessity of God's people. May sinabi pa dito, the next page sa last the events, pero kinote ito sa each day Bible commentary. Each day Bible commentary na ito, 1910 ito, 1910. Si Ellen G. White namatay, 19, 
15, no? When the state shall use its power to enforce the decrees. Decrees, ibig sabihin, marami. Kasi plural yan eh. And sustain the institutions. Ano yung in-institute nila? Based on the decrees of the principles. What do you mean by decrees? Statement of principles. Kaya ang yun, ang, full, ang, base, ang fundamental na revelation niya, narrative, sinabi ni Kristo yan kay Daniel sa Daniel 8. Yun ang Sacred Vatican Council. Ang Second Vatican Council has produced 16 major principles that is being documented. These 16 major documents are divided into three statements, declaration, and decrees. And all these 16, 16 have institutionalized through a lot of multiple programs and projects. Ako lang naglagay niya program project para malinaw sa inyo kapatid. Kaya nga, the word of Christ is so powerful, so beautiful for us the last generation. And it even gives credence to what Ellen G. White have wrote, have written. Kapatid, so manging ibabaw talaga ang Bible. So wag naman ninyong i-ano na eh, the writings of Ellen G. White, although hindi, kine, is above Dan ano, hindi pa may mag-claim na kasi nagsasabi yung iba kasi masyado nating inano yung writings ni Ellen White na hindi natin inuna na nandoon pala sa Bible, nandoon pala sa sa statement ni Kristo, si Kristo mismo ang nagsabi kung ano ang mangyari sa ating generation sa sinasabi nating time of the end. Then will Protestant America have form an image to the papacy. Have form. Mapurma nila yung profile. Yung imahin. Bakit? Kasi yan ang kanilang principles. Ano yung principles nila? Common good. Yan ang pagkara. Panuorin nyo. John, yung topic na yan. No. May topic tayo dyan sa God, Christ, Closing Prescription. Yung first series na nasa YouTube ngayon ng radical reconnection. Diyan niya kapatid, word for word na sinabi ni Kristo sa bibig niya, from his own lips, pronounce it. So dito, pag sinabing form an image, ano yung image profile? Image means you will, you will understand, you will see that it's him. In spite na uh, project lang yan, program lang yan, but you can always see at the background, you can see that it's the principle of the papacy. So that principle is really good, my beloved friends. Kaya nga si John the Revelator sabi niya, I marvel with great admiration. So yung dalawa ngayon, narrative ng Panginoon o narrative ng kaaway, siyempre dalawa ang pagpipilian, kaya dalawa talaga ang sinasabi niya. So the national apostasy will end only in national ruin. Bakit nakaroon ng national apostasy? Because it contradicts the plan of redemption authored by Jesus Christ, written by the prophets that Christ had come into physical engagement. So lumili now ang mga salita ni Kristo. Kaya nga ang salita ni Kristo, tatayo siya ng sarili niya. Na hindi na natin kailangan ng iba kung sino natin hagilapin. Saan libro ang magsuport nito? Saan dissertation ito susuportahan? Wala na yan kapatid. Because the Bible will stand by itself. Christ and Christ alone. And His words. Tapos na ang papel ng mga tiludians. Tapos na ang papel ng mga dissertations. Tapos na ang papel ng mga philosophers. Philosophers. Ang papel na ngayon ni Kristo ang nangingibabaw. Sapagat ayaw niya na may isa na mawaglit sa kanyang mga anak. Na sa kanyang sariling mga bibig, sa kriling mga labi niya, from his own lips, he prescribed the movement of our time. Kaya ang sinabi ni Lindsay White, puntahan natin agad yung sinabi sa Bible. 
So ano yung science nito? Ito na ngayon ang science ng ating henerasyon. Na napakaganda ng mga programa. Kahit sa napakadang programa, magugula tayo kay time man again at it increases calamities, earthquakes. Kasi yun ang tinabi rin ng Biblia. Diba? This world is not our home. Of course, the movement from national, it goes to to na universal. Bakit universal? Simply, ah, natural naman yun kasi may intensyon na kabutihan yan. Kasi simply worship yan eh. Ang manifestation ng physical worship is going to the church on one special day where the people will gather. Yan naman ang ating human dynamics ng worship. Since time immemorial, we have to gather and worship. So, yung gathering kapatid, ay, i-reflect talaga yan based on the actual tinasabi nating mga physical, uh, yung tinatawag yan, physical presence. Tinatawag na ano kapatid na worship. So, normal yun na magkaroon talaga yun ng universe. And bakit? Simpre ah. Universal na ang calamities. In diverse places. Famines, pestilences, in diverse places. Evils will grow. Mga terrorism, mga, kung uh, immorality uh, goes around, killing is everywhere, corruption is everywhere, and it's getting global. So therefore, It's a global call. Bakit? Kasi may good intention. Simply, when you talk about Sunday, it talks about day of worship. So worship is an attribute of worshiping. Worshiping ba? Respecting above the new man. So although the first day of the week, a common working day, who sings to Sunday, whatever. So yun ang kanila kapatid, yung first day. All nations and tongues and people will be commanded to worship this for you, Sabbath. Kailan mangyari yun na all nations and tongues? Eh, paano yun mga Muslims? Paano ang mga Hindus? Mga Buddhists? So ano yung movement na mag, mag-deliver na ang lahat ng bansa? Siyempre yan. Kung ang bansa ng mga Muslim, ang bansa ng mga Hindus, are being engaged into catastrophes, typhoons, floodings, diseases, pestilences. So normal yan na sasabihin, commanded na dito tayo. Siyempre, nandoon na yung kanilang principle ng peace and prosperity. Naka-integrate na doon ang structures ng ng humanitarian mga humanitarian na mga suporta para sa mga na, nasasalanta so simple lang yan na basic ba na mangyayari na oh ito na oh di talaga mapigil kailangan na natin na tayo na talaga mag worship na tayo magsama-sama daw tayong manalangin para mahinto na ito di na grabe na grabe ng sakit grabe na mga mga sword deadly sword kung lumalabas na yan kapatid Lindol dito, bagyo dito, baha dito, sakit dito, sakit doon. That's a national ruin. Uubos ang pera ng national government. So, Siyempre, dahil na-engage na ang humanity sa ecumenical, nagsama-sama na tayo sa mga prayer gathering, itong mga pangya, ito kapatid, ay napakalapit na ito. Mas malapit pa ito sa nagpuproclaim ng sandilo. Kasi hinihintay ang sandilo yung pala, tapos na pala ang mga ang principle na hinahawakan ng mga tao. Nakakala pa sila hintayin ko ang sandilo. Wow, na tayo ni Satanas. Matalino si Satanas kapatid. Para bang yung gira sa Second World War na dinagay doon sa sa, sa yung, yung the Battle of Normandy na dinagay ng mga British soldiers at Americans yung daming tanki ni gira yung pala mga plastic. So nakita ni Hitler nandoon ha ang ano niya uh, focus niya ng forces niya ha. Ah, tinawag niya lahat. 
Hindi nila alam ni Hitler na nasa likom na nila ang kaaway. My beloved friends. The decree, ito na. The decree enforcing the worship of this day. Bakit kailangan na isa? Kasi united prayer ang kailangan. Kaya tayo nga ngayon, na-engage tayo sa word na united prayer. Kasi alam ng humanity na when, when people are united in prayer, the creator or the God that they believe or the God that we believe will surely, sabi pa natin, will surely give the answers for a united people with a united prayer. <laughs> Galing, kapatid. Napakalinaw na ng mga engagement na mayroon ng mga typology at mga motif na nangangayari. So hindi mahirap yung mga enforcement na yan. Kasi alam natin na ang ending yan, baka mababasa natin dito yung mga sinasabi ni Joe White na panahon ng sandilo, huwag na kayong magpupos kasi panahon yan magmissionary tayo. Yung matagat na yan, ginawa na yan nila noon kapatid. Pero yung sandilo na i-declare sa ating generation, terminal point na ito ng human history. Bakit? Kasi it involves already the wrath of the Lamb. The fulfillment of the words of Christ, famines, pestilences, and earthquakes, it is not simply a propagation of denominational uh, membership na i-impose ng mga legislators just like what happened during the time of Ellen G. White para magpadami ng mga membro. Ito hindi kapatid. Walang, walang competition sa padamihan ng Membro sa relihiyon na ngayon. Sapakat bakit? Kasi religious pluralism na nga. Ibig sabihin ng religious pluralism, lahat ng relihiyon nagtuturo ng tama. Ano pa? Ecumenical na. Lahat tayo ay anak ng Diyos. We are all God's children and we will all go to heaven. Kaya God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. So walang judgment, walang segregation movement. movement. Kita niyo kapatid, kita niyo yan. So dapat maintindihan, ano ba yung Santillo in relation sa ending? Ano yung konteksto ng global movement Nang sinasabi ni Kristo that this world is not a home, that Christ is coming to rescue us. Oh, my beloved ministers of the gospel, leaders of the church, mga proclaimers sa YouTube at in mga Facebook, isang tabi na natin yung sandilo na mga, mga highlights natin yan, kapatid. Kasi hindi yan ang mensahe na sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin. Hindi yan ang mensahe sa Biblia, kapatid. That's not the Bible's message. Ang writings ni Lindy White was only engages on what's the real thing that he experienced on the contrast of the battle between these two days, Saturday and Sunday. In which ito naman talaga ang ending din. Kaya nga, ang semblance ba? Ang semblance. Mayroon talaga eh. Mayroon talaga. Mayroon talaga ang kaong hirap. Parang totoo. Yung narrative ng mga conspiracy theory. One word you cannot buy kasi magsandilo na. I-control tayo. Kaya itong mga vaccine. Itong... Oh my beloved friends. The word of God is above than any other words by any created being. Itong universal sa history will be re- false religions will be excited the first day. Narrative ito ng mga kaganapan na nangyari in the beginning of the time of the end. At hindi mawawala ito at mag-accelerate ito dahil nga ang acceleration nito ay papunta ito sa itang forceful, ang tinatawag nating death decree na ma-experience. But that death decree, sabi nila, Pus, kung sa ganun, hindi ko kayo ma-defile, ma-deceive, ma-fornicate. Kung sa ganun, hindi ko kayo ma-integrate at ma-assimilate. Mas maigi pang, 
Katayin ko kayo, patayin ko kayo. When that spirit will be manifested at that ending moment, wala na yan kapatid. Ang kalang espada, baril na para lang mga dagami yan. We are already preserved and protected. Dapat intindihin ng tama yung mga writings na huwag tayong panatik na hindi natin kinonsider yung dynamics ng political world. Yung political world na may mga political minds, political people. Yung mga political people, mayroon silang religious affiliation. Yung mga religious affiliations are based on their convictions of what they believe as the faith that they possess. Simple as it is, my beloved friends. Simple as it is. Please share this presentation sa lahat na nasa na, 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 nag-broadcast, kapatid. Try it. You try to share this to them, the reality. If you want to think like a politician, if you want to understand politics. So dito mga kapatid, inasabi dito na, the decree enforcing the worship of this day is to go forth to all the world. But it will go to all, all the world. Siyempre ah, yan ang solusyon. Yan ang solusyon. Sinabi nga ni Sister White eh, Bintangan tayo na, na, Dahil sa pagdami ng maraming kalamihan Tayo ang dahilan Kasi we do not join with them We, un, we, we were not able to assimilate His people Pero mayroon talaga Simply the five, the five foolish virgins Ay talagang kasama nila yan The unfaithful servants Kasama talaga So wag na kayong magtaka Huwag nyo namang sirain Ang buong, buong uh, iglesia Kung may nakita kayo na mga membro nito o leader nito na nakisaw-saw doon. Huwag naman niyong sabihin na Babylon na ito. Ibig sabihin, ang Panginoon nagtatag ng iglesia, ng kanyang iglesia, tapos gagawin lang pala niyang Babylon niya yan. Hindi, kapatid. Ang maging Babylon niya, itong mga tao na hindi, who does not abide with the word. Kasi hindi nga garantiya ang theology. Eh. Hindi rin sinabi na pag natin na karaang gabi, hindi garantiya ang position at profesyon. Hindi garantiya yan. Kahit pa nakatungtong ka sa isang institusyon na sinasabi natin nag-aaral ng Biblia, hindi yan garantiya. Ang garantiya lang natin, when we are possessed by the Holy Spirit, ano yung, paano tayo ma-possess ng Holy Spirit? When we abide in His Word, yung salita ni Kristo. Kaya napakatagal na ng Biblia na itong Biblia ay ibinigay sa atin Sapagat itong Biblia ay ito ang narrative para sa ating kaligtasan. Restoration. Hindi ba? Napakasarap. Purihin ang Panginoon. Glory to God in the highest for He has revealed the details. Detalya ang pagkasabi ni Kristo sa mga kaganapan. Nagawin natin pagkamalian si Elijah kasi you have to see the context. Of the dynamics of events. What is really events? Consequence. Science ang ating pinag-usapan, kapatid. Foreign nations will follow the example of the United States. Of course, kasi siyang idol it. Through those he leads out, yet the same crisis will come upon our people in all parts of the world. Kikita mo yun? Kasi ano na nga, siyempre, nanawagan na ngayon ang global crisis na ang ating mundo. Kung hindi tayo magsama-sama para sa Laudato Si na yan, encyclical, pero before the Laudato Si, alam na natin na ang science of the world, kaya nga ni, uh, ni Al Gore, yung the inconveni an inconvenient truth na talagang ang planet Earth sa ozone layer, we self-destruct our planet Earth because we do not take care of what we invented. So, ganun lang siya. In other words, lahat ng ng imbinto na tao, lahat ng kung ano man ang nabigay niyang kabutihan, mayro ang resulta talaga niyan, it will dilapidate the earth. Diba? Sa dami nating invention, wala, wala nang mapuntahan ang basura. So, it will dilapidate the earth. It will destroy the earth. So, naimbinto natin ang lahat ng plastic, naimbinto natin ang lahat ng mga chemical, it destroys the planet earth. Because that's not God intended us to live. Diba? 
So yung mga crisis na ma-experience ng lahat. Kasi sinabi na sa Mount of Olive, eh, Nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquake in diverse places. Basic yan. Pag-aralan nyo yan kasi ang Matthew 24 ng ating presentation ay yan ang dynamics ng ating generation. I would guarantee you that this is not the way, the usual thinking that you, you understand. So dito mga kaibigan, no? Although, siguro sa inyo dyan ay padaan lang kayo. And I pray that you will really listen, view. Tatago kayo at makinig. Spend time. Spend time. Kasi kung mayroong panahon na dapat nating tutukan at intindihin ang kaganapan sa sinasabi ni Kristo, this is the time. Bakit? Kasi padami na ang kalamidad, padami na ang lahat. Bakit natin isakripisyo ang langit? Na bakit hindi tayo magsakripisyo ng uras sa isang araw na makinig at paintindihin, basahin ang Biblia? Ayon sa sinasabi ni Kristo. Very serious time. Di ba? In all parts of the world. The substitution of the false for the true is the last act in the drama. It's it for yan. Paano sila maka paano si, sila maka maka differentiate yung act nila as their, as their faith convicted them. Kasi yun ang maging sitwasyon na para masulbad ang lahat na ito, matigil na ang kalamidad. Kailangan simbahin natin ito kasi ito na tayo lahat. Popular ito. Lahat ng intellectuals dito. Ah, Siyempre ah, yun ang last act. Bakit last act yan? Kasi yun ang solusyon ng Pawasak na ng mundo. Bakit pawasak na? Wala nang kagamutan ang pistilense. Wala nang kagamutan ang sakit. Isipin mo kung mayroon uh, yung first break. Paano yan? Sino nga habol sa'yo kung nandoon ka sa, sa isang bundok? Sino nga habol akyat doon na ang mga paan nila na balot ng, ng, ano, ng sore? E kung may helicopter, sino mag-drive ng helicopter na kung ang pilot ay mayroong sore sa mata? Hindi ba? Ganun lang ka-simple ang reality. Kaya wag hindi sa takot tayo. Huwag hindi sa takot. Let us simply look up to Jesus. Look up. Hindi, hindi sa baba. Mga batas ng mundo. When this substitution becomes universal, God will reveal himself. Oh! Bakit universal na? Yan ang panahon na i- God will reveal himself. Kasi global na sa kaya, ganito tayo kalapit na. Bakit? Dumalagungdung, sama ba na Tagalog yan? Dumalagungdung ang galaw, ang tinig ng kanyang hakbang. Eh? The footsteps of an approaching God. What a serious time, my beloved friends. And we are all engaged in the sounding of the world's calamities. In one way or the other, we are affected. Ang hindi natamaan, pagbili, mahal ang gulay, affected, stressful ang buhay ng mundo. Kaya ano ba yung persecution, time of trouble? Yung tinatabi na great time of trouble. Ano ba yung sinasabi? Never was since the world began. Ah, kapatid. Panoorin nyo yan sa YouTube. Although I will be delivering that on English. In the coming weeks, pero bago natin i-deliver yan, kailangan tayo makaground sa truth ng the true gospel of Jesus Christ. That by the power of His grace, yan kapatid, dapat makaground tayo doon. Kasi yun lang ang ating comfort. Yung comfort natin na may gracia, may Kristo, na buhay muli. At ang kanyang pagkabuhay, tayo rin buhay na ngayon sa kanya. At hindi na tayo mamatay. Ha? Napakaganda yun, hindi na tayo mamatay. Bakit hindi na mamatay? Kasi darating na siya. At sinisilyuhan na niya tayo. Yung ate rin, ibinigay na. Tumutulog na sa bawat isa sa atin habang kayo ay nanonood yan. Grabe, ate rin yan kapatid. Ang meaning ng ate rin, 
teachings of God for us to be victorious. Basahin nyo, Deuteronomy 32. Chapter 32, verse 1, 2, 3, 4. That the rain is the doctrine. Huwag ninyong i-doubt ba? Huwag ninyong ilagay sa alanganin. Let us be focused. Kasi pagdating ng ano na yan, that's the time God will reveal himself. When the laws of men are excited about the laws of God, when the powers of this earth, powers of this earth, the who? Earth! Try to force men to global and global na. To keep the first day of the week, know that the time has come for God to work, to the last work for our redemption. Sarap na panahon yan. Na hindi na magtagal. Ito na ang araw. Hindi na tayo magsabi, darating ang mga araw. Ito na ang mga araw. The substitution of the laws of men for the law of God. The exaltation by merely human authority of Sunday. Ito ang mga, mga, mga writings nila. Diba talagang ulit-ulit niyang sinasabi. Siyempre, inarrange na ito ng Ellen White Estate. Mga Sunday, mga Sunday. Kaya nga, basahin nyo nga ang buong quotation ng Ellen White. Of Sunday in place of the Bible Sabbath. Basic yan. Siyempre, labanan yan. Eh. Is the last act in the drama. When this substitution becomes universal, God will reveal himself. Ganda no? And that will be the greatest rescue. The revelation of God himself is his appearance at the cloud. And he will rescue us. The greatest rescue of all time. Because Christ is going to take us up. We will meet him at the air. Ganda kapatid. With the glorious appearing of Christ and the glorious experience of His redeemed floating in the air. Ah, ganda yung kapatid, ah? floating in the air. There's power. Power niya kasi. Paano ka makalipad dyan? Wala kang pagpat. But the power of His grace. Siyempre, the most important event in salvation relative, the meeting of the, the groom and the bride. Wow. The whole world. The whole world will support Sunday legislation. Of course, the whole world. Na engage na nga sa common good. Common engagement. Integrative na ang lahat. There is no more national boundaries. We are now engaged globally. It's the whole world. Sinabi nga dyan. No, same thing na natin na. The wicked declared that they had the truth. Simple, yeah. Common, common expression of the heart and mind. What we believe is true. We have the miracles that miracles were among them. That angels from heaven talk with them. Simple, may mga manifestation yun eh. And walk with them. That great power, signs and wonders. You know, sinabi dyan sa River of light. He shall destroy wonderfully. Because he will show signs and wonders. Were performed among them. And that this was the temporal millennium that they had been expecting so long. Ano yun? Temporal millennium. The word millennium is 1,000 years. Question. What program projects in our present generation? That has the cult and uncult, a millennium concept of peace and prosperity. Oh, my beloved friends, all nations are engaged. The millennial development goal. All governments of the world are now engaged into it. And this is really good. And this is the science of the world. But of course, is it the science of the Bible? The whole world was converted and in harmony with Con Ginamit nga niyan, converted. Ibig sabihin, it's the mind and the heart that believes. Siyempre, may mga manifestation yan eh. Kaya yung millennium, tapanoorin nyo yan sa YouTube kasi may mga topic tayo yan. Napaka the gospel that the world cannot preach. Yeah. Matthew 24, 14. Panorin yung Matthew 24, 14. I, I encourage you, challenge you. It will change the whole view of your life as an Adventist. 
It will change your view as a, your whole life as a minister of the gospel. The river, the MRI, the magnetic resonance imaging, the mountain, the river, and the island will change, will give you the entire view, the reactions within. Again, resonance, the power of the sounds that leads us to understand and see the reactions of the molecules, the cells, the human cells, the DNA, the RNA, and everything. Ah, ganda yan, kapatid! Napakaganda yan! But it's only in the MRI because Christ and Christ alone came down to deliver that prescription for us to be victorious, to meet Him at the clouds. Mabigat man itong sabihin, kapatid, but it's what the Bible is telling us. Christ our righteousness. His words, my beloved friend. So panoorin nyo yan kasi it talks about millennium, conversion. Sinabi din ng program nila, the new millennium, a conversion, jubilee 2000, simulain for the conversion of the world and the ushering in of the long expected millennium. Yun ang kanilang statement, kapatid, sa year 1999. We have that documents. So napakaganda ng salita ni Kristo, kapatid, na walang opportunity ang kaawa, hinamadali niya tayo. Eh, itong writings ni Lindy White, the system on to ministers and gospel workers, the whole world is to be stirred with enmity against Seventh-day Adventists because they will not yield homage to the papacy by honoring Sunday, the institution of this anti-Christian power. Sa anong paraan kaya nila? Paano? Ano ang kanilang integration assimilation na ginagawa ni Provide? Sa pamamagitan lang ba na pagpunta sa simbahan? Ma-defile tayo? Hindi kailangan nila. Uy, napupunta ka sa simbahan nila? Nang araw ng linggo? Doesn't need it. Pupunta ka doon. Hindi na kailangan nila bautismuhan ka para maging kasama nila sa kanilang registered books. Hindi nila kailangan yan kapatid. Sapagkat itong whole world, yung demand ng solution for global crisis. May global crisis tayo ngayon. Ngayon, nag-o, nag, 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 ano tayo, nag, 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 virtual study tayo. Mayroong global crisis tayo. Ah. At mayroon ng global solutions na na-identify. Bakit global solutions? Kasi matagal na itong na-analyze. Marami ng global conferences, international world summit para pag-ipunin at titingnan kung paano tayo mag-move in the next 100, in the next 1,000 years. How humanity must be engaged into one so we can achieve peace and prosperity. How we will use the education sector, how these children will be taught. We are the world. We are the children. We are the one who make the brighter one. So let's start giving. Yeah. We are the world. We are the children. We are the one who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. So there are jobs we make it. We're making all the way. Grabe yung kanta nila. Diba? Diba papiyan? And it resets the mind. Very personal na kanta, just you and me. Oh, send them the hand so they know that someone cares. Grabe yung culture ba? Yung inculturation. How our life has been culturated, inculturated. How our life, our character has been molded para pag sa calamities na ito, madali na lang nilang matanggap ang solusyon. Anong solusyon? Let us join together and worship the Lord, our God Almighty. Let us join together because as a prayer, mga prayer formation ang ating gagawin. Prayer movement ang tawag nila niya. Ganda talaga kapatid. Panoorin talaga ninyo yan. No, panoorin ninyo yan. No? Kapit na ang oras. 
The so-called Christian world is to be the cheater of great and this is ito ang mga actually binasa natin ito mga writings ni Richard White para mabigyan naman natin ng justice at mabigyan ng linaw na hindi tayo madali sa conspiracy theories na ang mga theory na ito ay nangingibabaw ang mga alam, mga Illuminati, mga Masonry, mga Jesuit Sabi ng Bible o mga ganyan kapatid. Principle ang pinag-usapan. Kasi ang principle, ang teachings, yun ang mag-determine sa ating decision making. Decision making and salvation eternity lies in the way we decide from this part of our human physiology. Men in authority will enact laws controlling the consent. Ito, controlling the consent. After the example of the papacy. Ano yung example na pinakita ng papacy? The common good. Ano yung common good? Rerum novarum. In the new philosophy. In the new world. Yung tinatawag niya. Ano yung order? Yung order. Huwag niyong ano yun. Yung new world order. It's a new Values of life. Ano yung new world order where humanity, where religions are getting together? Religious pluralism. This is the new order of our time. This is the new order of our society. Ano yung new order natin ngayon? Bagong, bagong order na na-order. Na-organize na tayo. Na-organize. Ano na tayo ngayon? Lahat ng religion sama-sama tayo na. Panahon ng morning, Monday morning, doon tayo sa flag ceremony sa lahat ng munisipyo, lahat ng religious organization, mag-message tayo about love and cooperation. Masama ba yan? Hindi. Pero ano yung time na yan? Yun na ang time ng delusions. Yun na ang time na kukunin na ng kaaway. Ang hindi na tayo makapaghanda. Kasi maganda ang ating mga kilos. Maganda ang ating pinapikita. So kinukuha na kinukuha na niya tayo. Hinubaran niya tayo kapatid ng ating damit para sa salubong sa kasal. Kasi gusto niya yung damit natin kapatid. Hindi talaga. Gusto niya na magdamit tayo para sa kanilang peace and prosperity. Babylon will make all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of their fornication. Sipin mo? Ano yung ano yung makapa-fornicate? Fornication is you remain sa, sa family, husband and wife. Yung adultery, you 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 separated. Pero yung fornication, hindi. Nanatili ka sa pamilya mo, pero mayroong kang, kasa, mayroong kang kalaguyo na iba. Hindi ba? Yun ang fornication. You get out from what is the principle. Every nation will be involved. Of this time, John the Rebeto declares, they have one mind. Bakit? Kasi... Common good. Ano ang nangingibabaw na programa, prinsipyo sa buong bansa, sa buong guberno ng buong mundo ngayon? The common good. Sino ang initiate niyan? The letter horn. Kailan implement After 1888, three years after that Ellen G. White wrote the Great Controversy. In 1891, the Rerum Novaro was given to the whole world. Matagal talagang ano yan, matagal proseso. Kasi siyempre pag ang wine na mapipirtin, na, sasarap na sasarap pag matagal na daw. Di ba? Sasarap, patindi ng patindi habang tumatagal ang wine, kapatid. Yung, fer yung fermentation process, you need to be put, napakaganda rin. There will be universal ban of union. Ha? Huh? Ban of union. Hindi, nila, hindi lang universal ban. Yung tumama ng union. One great harmony. A confederacy of Satan for the... Pero ano yung great harmony, talagang reality na yan ngayon. Hindi ito darating na araw. Itong binabasa natin, matagal na nangyari ito. Baka nag-isip pa kayo na darating ang araw. And shall give their powers and strength unto the beast. Ngayon nga, tayo nag-uusap ngayon. Grasya na lang ng Panginoon tayo ngayon. Paano kung bibitiwan niya? Sunod-sunod na ang kalamidad. Pero nanalangin tayo na iparating muna natin ito sa ating mga leaders simula dyan sa taas hanggang sa doon. We have to provide this information. Christ prescription to them. Kaya magtulungan tayo kapatid. Sinasabi dito, ano yung 
Sinasabi niya, cancers, tinan ko nga yung next slides, kung na-emphasize ba yan. Yeah. Men in authority will enact laws controlling the cancer. Bakit mayroong control of cancer? Have you ever thought? Paano yung sandilo? Makaano ng konsensya? Hindi yan, magpakabatay nga tayo na hindi tayo dyan maano ng sande. Pero paano nila maano yung controlling the cancer? Simple kapatid, maraming variables ang worship. Hindi lang dahil pumunta ka sa kanilang simbahan. Ayun lang ang meaning ng worship. When you vow, when you bow, when you integrate, when you assimilate, when you take part. Kaya nga, defiled with women. Yung, yung fornication is in partnership with. Kahit hindi mo tapos nakipag-partner ka, ah kapatid, that's fornication. Never venture on an evil's ground, my beloved friends. Every nation will be involved. Every nation? Bakit every nation will be involved? Bakit sinabi ni every nation? Kasi lahat ng bansa ay interconnected at isa lang ang problema. Global crisis. Lindol sa kanila, may lindol sa atin. May bagyo dito, may bagyo sa atin. May baha sa kanila, may baha sa atin. May corruption doon, may corruption sa atin. Ngayon sa Amerika nga, highlight nila, may fraud, fraudulent ang election na patas. Kasama. Kala natin ang Amerika ay mababait kung sa ganyang mga bagay. Mga Amerikano. May virus sa kanila, may virus sa atin. Ano bang ibinin sa hang ngayon nga, naka-face mask ang lahat ng tao. Kaya nga, all nations, every nations will be involved. Ang tanong, makakal pa ba yan? Yan pa ba ay darating na mga Hindi ang ngayon na ito. Ngayon na ito. Nangyayari na kaya ito na ang kaganapan natin ngayon. Of this time, John the Repeto declares, this have one mind. There will be universal ban of union. Ang tawag niyang kapatid, yung consent, when consent is stricken because our heart will be touched because our desire is just the same with the desires of everybody else. We want peace. We want love. We want cooperation. We want all to be in this planet Earth na protected, na wala nito ay mabiktima. Every time you see a typhoon, every time you see a typhoon victims, an earthquake victims, a volcanic you, your heart will be, your mind, your heart will see tears of sorrow. So mga kapatid, na, panoorin nyo yan kasi magkumpito na yan. Eh. As the decree issued by the various lords question against commandment keepers, Shall we draw the protection of the government and abandon them to the... Isipin mo, yun na ang maging mangyari, kapatid. To them who decided is that the people of God will flee from the cities and villages and associate together dwelling in the most desolate... Ito ang mga nakit na ano ni Elijah White, mga projected niya na reality. Sa nangyari, sa na-engage niya, sa nakikita niya, sa ganitong mga mga conflicting, mga, mga engaging na mga kaganapan. Kaya nga, Talagang fleeing. Mayroong fleeing time. Iba naman yung county living time. Yan ang simulain natin. Now we live on simplicity on the country. Go to the city and proclaim that Christ is coming. Hindi ka pumunta doon. Wasakit ang syudad mo. Hindi. You tell them that Christ is coming. And the movement of His Christ. Because this world will be dilapidated. By evilness. Di ba? Yun ang magandang mensahe. Refrain from work. Ito yung mga statement ni Elijah White. Ha? Bilisan natin ito. May mga sa 1880, ito nga ang simulain na nakita, na, na-engage, ha? Na-engage ang mga anak ng Diyos. At the very, fir, at the very, tinatawag natin mga creedal years of the church. Creedal ba? Yung batang-bata pa ang ating iglesia. 1863, 1880, nakikita na yung galaw ng controversy na yan. Nagkaroon na ng mga Sunday, bawal magano ng Sunday, tapos wag, wag, walang, walang gawain. Tapos yun, sabi ninyo, wag kayong magsupak, wag kayong salungatin nyo dyan. Wag kayong maglaba. Wag kayong magtagbaho sa farm o na Sunday. You go then visit then do missionary work. Ito ang ginawa nila kapatid. Ha? Ito ang ginawa nila. So we do with due respect sa movement ng ating mga minamahal na mga mga kapatid natin nung unang panahon. Kasi ito yung movement ng great controversy. 
Pero dito sa ating generation na na-involve na ang typhoons, calamities, ito na ngayon, na bibintangan na tayo nito, iba na ang sandilo. Death decree, ano na yan, batas na yan para matigil na itong kalamidad. Matigil na ang ruining ng planet Earth, kapatid. That must be identified by all of us. Huwag nyo naman maging panatik na yung nakaraan ay itong uli ang gaganito kasi history will repeat itself. Ang history will repeat itself ay yung principle of deception will repeat. Pero angel of light na siya, hindi na siya angel of darkness ang kanyang kilos. Kaya the beast that was anisa, and yet is. Kasi at the end, pag hindi talaga tayo susunod, kung ganon, ay mas maigi pang katayin ko kayo. Pag da, gawin niya kapatid, that the, work, the God works with risk. What a beauty. So makikita, sunod-sunod yan sa page, sa la, la, last day events, 138 paragraph po, 138 paragraph 5. Nandoon yan. Sunod-sunod yan kapatid. Nandoon na yung mga na sinasabi ni Elin G. White dito na refraining from the work once is not receiving the mark of the beast. And sabi ng iba noon sa panahon ni White, Uy, pag hindi ako nagtrabaho, parang Nagpamarka na ako sa mananap na mapintas. Di ba? Marami tayong maganyang attitude eh. Paano kung makunahan ako, nabarkahan ako ng mark of the beast? Kailangan malinaw, magkaroon tayo ng kalinawan dyan. Meron tayong topic sa susunod niya. In, sinabi niya, in places where the opposition is so strong and to a rose, if work is done on a Sunday, let our brethren make that day an occasion to do genuine missionary work. So yun ang counsel, do missionary work. So itong mga statement ni Reggie White, dynamics, ethical, ethics ang napag-usapan dito. Paano tayo mag-behave sa so ganito? Huwag niyong kontrahin sa long atin na mag-confrontation na kayo sa kanila. You do the best that you can provide the truth. Yan ang ibig. Pero sa ating generation na calamities after calamities na yan, paano ka mag- ano doon sa- Mag-house to house ka na calamities na nga yan. Ano gagawin mo doon sa nawasak nilang tahanan? Tapos maggawa pa tayo na itig- manalangin tayo na itigil na Panginoon ang kalamidad. Itigil na itong mga bagyo at lindol. Kawawa, itigil na hindi sana. Magsabi ng pagkasa, Daraking ang for- type, the type of type of Panginoon, itigil na ang mga kalamidad. Itigil? Bakit mo sabihin itigil? Natural law na rin ang dilapidated world. At yan na ang movement ng Christ coming. Ang ating panalangin, Lord, continually protect and preserve our lives. Yan ang ating panalangin. Continually preserve and protect our lives in this movement of your coming. So we can meet you at the clouds of heaven. What a beautiful message of the Mount Raven Island. Ito ang mga statement lang niya ito kapatid. No? We should not feel it enjoy na pan us. Kasi sinabi niya dito kanina, yung sinabi niya na, na mark of the beast, hindi naman sabi na, in play, hindi naman sabi na, kaya hindi tayo nagtabaho gaya ng gusto nila. Mark of the beast na yan. Hindi naman ganon. Marami yan kapatid na mga mga statement dyan ay tungkol sa mga ethical values na ating gagawin. Mga decency ng reactions. No? Na Sabi niya, our sister need not silik Sunday as a day to exhibit their washing. Siyempre, sa panahon nun, pag hindi ka nang ano, na-violate nyo, mas magalit ang Panginoon. Tapos, ah, di, ah, tingnan mo, mag- mag-washing kami. Nagdala may isang kwento doon na pinuntahan niya ang simbahan, kinuha niya ang santo ninyo, binasak niya, kasi hindi daw power dito. Ay, hindi naman ganun tayo magminsahe, kapatid. Tapos, atake natin yung mga, yung ganito, mga, hindi ba, mga, mga lawyers, mga lawyers ng ating relihiyon. Tapos, Na, dini, ano? So hindi ganun kapatid So to close our study this evening My friend oh, May pasara pala ito oh. Ay, Ito na lang Marami yan no? Engage in spirit of seven Sundays So mga council ito na mag-engage ka ng... Itong panahon nila noon Sa atin ngayon talagang Watch and pray Prepare to meet thy God So sinusulat ng ito ng Ilin G. White Estate Sa panahon, narrative ito eh ng mga nangyayari at tayo, i-differentiate natin kaya importante sa atin maintindihan 
mapanghawakan yung salitang movement. Mayroong beginning of time, starting ng time of the end, mayroon tayong closing of the time of the end. Okay? Kasi napaloob yan sa time of the end. Et kes, yun ang apokalyptik. Matagal na, ilang taon na tayo, ah, 160 years na ba tayo? Tagal na. I-compute nyo nga yan, kung ilang taon na tayo from 1863. So this time, when there is such an effort made to enforce Sundays, is the very opportunity to present the world of truth. Ayun ang ginawa nila noon. So we have to praise God na tinayuan nila kung paano no, ang behavior nila, paano mag-engage ng, tinuruan tayo kung paano mag-engage ng mensahe na hindi ma-prejudice. Hindi ma-antagonize yung truth. Magandang itong narrative ito. Sa page, ano ito? Last the events, page 141, paragraph 1. Napakagandang ethical values ito. Na mapanan. Itigil na nga natin yung mga debate. Itigil na natin yung paninira nila. Paninira. Let's, let us preach Christ and Christ and His righteousness. What does set the Lord? Kaya dito kapatid, sinabi dito, no? Iyano ko na ito. The people of God, ito na, mga close, two para slide. The people of God will recognize human government as an ordinance of divine appointment and will by principle of example teach obedience to it as a sacred duty so long as its authority is exercised with its legitimate sphere. But when its claims conflict with the claims of God, we must choose to obey God rather than men. So simple yan na, piliin natin yung plan of redemption ng Panginoon. Sundin natin yung kanyang prescription. Ano yung si prescription niya? Prepare. You have to prepare. The word of God must be recognized and obeyed as authority. Thus said the Lord. To close our study this evening, Satan offers to men the kingdom of the world if they will yield to him the supremacy. Many do this and sacrifice heaven. It is better to die than to sin. Better to want than to defraud. Better to hunger than to lie. Napakagandang mensahe ng sulat sa Testimonies for the Church. Ang susunod na topic to time of trouble. No? Sa time of trouble, magsunod-sunod na yung kapatid na inarins ito ng Ellen G. White. So the Word of God is above all the clearest, pinakamalino, pinaka-engaged because Christ Physical appearing, his physical engagement, is an evidence na sinabi niya, ang mata na makakita sa mga pangyayaring ito, sila rin ang buhay na sasalubong sa Panginoon. Tayo ngayon, ngayong gabi, na nakakita sa lahat ng sinasabi ni Kristo, hindi na tayo sinabi, darating ang araw, darating ang araw na matagal na, Ongoing na ang coming ni Jesus. Lumaganap na ang catastrophes, ang calamities, the whole world, as what the science is telling us. Kunti na lang. Ano na yung kunti na yan? Share this message to your fellow brethren. Bring this message to all the servants of the Lord. Sino sila? La, share natin ito kapatid. That Christ is coming. And we hear the footsteps of an approaching God. Bukas kapatid, mayroon tayong umaga, mayroon tayong gagawin na special uh, coverage bukas. Morning dito, bukas ng umaga. Mayroon tayong special coverage sa ating mga kapatira doon sa, sa Troy, New York. Now, they will have a special gathering right there. So, bilang gathering of God's people at this ending time, closing time, let us be definite, closing time. Possibly tomorrow morning, we'll be joining together with them. So, tonight, shall we bow our heads for our prayer. Great God, loving Father in heaven, in thy throne of your grace, thank you. For giving all of us the privilege to witness, to see, and understand the writings of Ellen G. White in the context of what the Bible has been telling us 2,500, 2,000 years ago. 
What a joy that all of us will have our testimony. The testimony of Jesus Christ. It's our life. It's our possession of your words that determine the proclamation. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for engaging us tonight. Of what you have said is the reality today. And thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for helping us, for subduing our human, our fallen tendency. But thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for by your grace, you allow us to understand that we are the generation alive to meet you at the clouds of heaven. We pray that you heal those who are sick and who long to meet you alive in the clouds of heaven. Heal them, Heavenly Father. Thank you as we prepare for the Sabbath and also the rest in the, in the other parts of the world will prepare for the Sabbath in the coming hours. Thank you for giving us dreams and vision. Thank you for helping us to share this message. Allow us to touch the screen and share. Help us to view the previous series twice. For we have two ears and two eyes. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So after tomorrow, Monday again, the same time. No? We have another series with Pastor Epi Villaruel, the most beautiful narrative of this biblical account no? na kanyang isi-share sa ating lahat this coming Monday evening, my beloved friends. But it, it will have tomorrow morning also no? with Pastor Epi in Troy, New York. No? Sa pangalan ng ating Panginoon na nag-provide sa atin ng mga kapatiran, Gaya nila ni Elder uh, Harry Ismaya, kay Brother Eugene Sassing at uh, Sister Luna at ang kanyang mga pamilya, kay Jonathan, kay Kiko, sa kay Melody, no? sa kanilang mga anak, kay Jeveline, sa kanilang mga apo, sa lahat dito sa studio kay Sister Brother Jelly, Happy Sabbath kay Brother Jerome ng ating masigasig na editor na nag-edit ng lahat ng ating mga mga proclamation. Sister Mercy, the Nairi na nasa Tagig, Brother uh, Don King, at sa lahat ng ating mga kasamahan dyan sa Troy, New York, Sister Raiza Wesley Bagat for giving us and Brother Don Piper for Getting into, coming into the force of the Holy Spirit, the people that proclaim. Sa lahat tayo ngayon na naka-open sa topic na ito, we are radically reconnected and we have a radical mission to share this message to all our friends. And regardless of position and profession, we will share this message. God bless us. See you tomorrow morning. And the rest of us on the Monday evening, 7.30. God bless us and happy Sabbath to all. Oh, the marketplace is empty. No more traffic in the streets. All the bitter streets are silent. No more time. Street. Busy housewives seize their labors in the courtroom. No debate. Work on earth is all suspended as their king comes through the gates. The king is coming. The king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding